Hey guys, it's me, Chris. Uh, I got a new vlogging camera for Christmas, so I, I figured I'd make a quick video. Maybe not so quick, I think this might be kind of a longer video, but it's a, I wanted to show off some stuff I got for Christmas because uh, it's kind of like a, I'm not gonna, like, five years ago, do I remember what I got for Christmas? Nope, nope, not at all, no clue. <laughs> These things just come and go. But if I film it, and save it online, then I could look back in the future and be like, oh yeah, that was a good year. No, you know, that sort of thing. Um, notable, this was uh, one of the first Christmases where my brother David wasn't at home, and he was, um, I don't know where he was, Rexburg or Texas, I, I, I don't know. But <laughs> I don't know, that, uh, I just thought I'd throw that in there. That, it was because his, um, his girlfriend is moving to Texas and she couldn't make it to Christmas. So he was like, I'm not going to make it either. I don't, I haven't, I haven't talked to him in a while. Let me just start off by saying, I miss my brother, David. I'll, 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 yeah, that's a better way to start this out than trying to, uh, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> um, yeah, I miss, I miss all my brothers. Really. We don't hang out much anymore. Uh, okay, so let's start with stocking stuffers. Um, this is a little squishy guy. I don't know what they are. They're not food. They totally could be. They're, they're, no, they're not food. They're definitely not food. But they stink. I remember I opened one of these, and I, they stank, and I was like, ugh. I, I don't know where that one is, but okay, let's move on to another stocking stuffer. Um, <clears throat> Pac-Man. Pac-Man. These are mints. Yeah, these are mints. And this case is like kind of scary. It's got some sharp edges here. And uh, I, I threw this to a sibling, my sister, and I, I would not throw it again because <laughs> these edges could cut someone's hand. Anyway, the, the bottom actually pops off. It's kind of a tight fit. And there's these Pac-Man shaped mints in here. They're actually really tasty. I like these. I'm not gonna eat one now. Oh, they smell very strong. But I'm not going to eat one now because I'm talking and uh, it would be hard to talk with food in my mouth. I got a soap. Uh, this is a, a soap shaped as a hammer. And oh, it smells. That's a strong smell. I can smell it through the plastic. It's a Dracar scent. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Detergent free glycerin soap, sorbitol, coconut oil propylene glycol, stearic acid, water, sodium hydroxide, glycerin, fragrance, and color. And it's from etsy.com slash shop slash Hefner Nans Crafts. Hefter, Hefner, Hefer Nans Crafts. <laughs> it's a, uh, kind of a hard name to pronounce for me. I got these hot tamales. Fierce cinnamon. Uh, these are like the classic um, uh, candy cane style holder. And I can smell these too. They're very strong. May contain milk. Oh, it's shared equipment. That's fine. I'm like, if it had milk as an ingredient, I wouldn't eat it. But may contain, I would still eat that. Uh, <laughs> next, um, I, I don't eat dairy. That's why. I brought that up. Um, what what am I doing next? Where's the next one? Let's see. Oh, here it is. I got the like instructions for this, but I'm looking for the actual thing and couldn't find it. This is uh, a little laser cut wooden thingy. Laser cut wooden thingy. <laughs> oh, it's an airplane, I think. It's a U Gears mechanical models. There we go. There's what the finished product would look like. It's a little airplane. And a bunch of my family mem members got these in different uh, styles. Uh, and I love how these smell. Is that weird to say? Like the, <laughs> the laser cut wood. Uh, I, some of them stink. Some woods stink when they get burned, but I can't smell that one. <laughs> Maybe I like smelling things. I've been told I like smelling things. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say. I feel... Uh, I feel embarrassed saying that. <laughs> I got a wonderful card. This is uh, from my parents. 
Let's see. Look at the front. It's a it's a snowflake, just like me. <laughs> uh, dear Chris, from everyday family times to special holidays like Christmas, a son like you brings so much happiness to life. Hope you know how very much you are loved today and always. Merry Christmas, love, mom and dad. Ah, uh, I I usually pin these on my wall. I, I am looking over there. I have a Christmas card on my wall from last year. So maybe I'll swap this out with, well, I'll swap that out one with this one. Yeah. Oh, and this card was so cute. Look at this. It's like, it's tiny. Look how tiny this is. It's an actual card from Sun Card. Uh, it's a Chinese name that I cannot pronounce. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to give, I'm not going to try that. Sun Card. S810, made in China. And my sister didn't write on this, so it's like, I guess I could use this, keep this and use it for next year. It just says Merry Christmas, and it's like, she didn't write anything, so I can totally use this. And it's got a little envelope. Look at this envelope, it's so cute. A uh, little, <clears throat> maybe a uh, two by two envelope. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see, what do I show next? Oh yeah, more soap. This one is in the shape of a gun. How cool is that? It's like a 1911. Very cool. This one is another Drakkar scent. Same ingredients. Very strong smell. Uh, we'll have to see how well that works. <laughs> for uh, hand washing? Is it, is it for hand washing? I'm going to use it for hand washing. I got these, this sticker sheet. Is this to actually me? I don't... Some of these things made it into this box that my mom put together because I left my gifts in the house for two weeks before I actually collected them today. <laughs> um, some of this stuff, I don't know if it was actually meant for me. And this is one of those things. Was this meant for me? I don't know. But it's a sticker sheet with a bunch of cute holiday, uh, like Santas, chibi Santas, and uh, helper kids, and gingerbread men, and um, snowmen. And this is from China, made in China. Uh, from China. I wish I could remember who gave me this stuff because I could say that, but I, uh, I don't remember who gave this to me. I think this was in the stocking, and my older sister gave this, uh, did the stockings this year. So that, that's like a thing uh, <laughs> that my family does. They're like, who wants to do stockings this year? And they, one person will just buy a bunch of stuff and put the stockings together. Speaking of stockings, here's the stocking. Was this, I'm not, do, was I meant to receive the stocking or? Does it go in a box for next year? I don't know. But there's some peanuts in there. <laughs> Oops. Peanut down. I'm going to leave it down there until I stop recording. Or I'll pick it up. I'll pick it up so I don't forget about it. Um, yeah, that's a stocking. <laughs> I don't need or want that. Um, but um, you can't always get what you want. Hand warmers. Hand warmers. I not not to say that I don't want hand warmers. I could totally use hand warmers. It's a cold part of the year, and uh, the snow is finally like the snow stopped falling. Finally, it's been months. We've had snow almost every day, and and just the past couple weeks have been no snow, and it's slowly melting. There's still a ton of ice out there, but <laughs> okay. I got to talk about this Appleway Trail. Appleway Trail is a great trail in Spokane Valley. Yeah, uh, Spokane Valley. And there's this section. Well, the Appleway Trail doesn't get plowed at all during the winter, so people just walk on that snow and compact it, and it becomes ice. And it's really hard to walk there, and it's extra hard to ride my bike through there because I fall. I've fallen once and slipped once, so I just get off my bike and walk through the whole section now. I have to remember that this camera has a 10-minute cutoff timer, so it doesn't overheat or something like that. So there's poop on the trail. Someone with a big dog walks their dog on the path and the dog poops and they don't clean up the poop and it's right in the middle of the path. So it's ice and poop everywhere. So I've been taking an alternate path. It stresses me out, man. And that's perfect for the stress relief kit. This is, <laughs> it's, look at that. It's a stress relief kit. Stress relief kit for immediate stress relief. Pop three stress release capsules every four to six hours as needed. See physician if symptoms persist. I need this right now. I need this right now. 
I need this right now. Four to three to four. Some of these are popped already. Oh, maybe not. One, two, three, four, four. Ah, oh, that worked. It worked. Okay, next thing. I got this Hemp Z uh, CBD lotion. Herbal body moisturizer. Sorry, not lotion. Wait, lotion hide. It says lotion in a different language, uh, Spanish. Anyway, I'm excited to use this stuff because it's got CBD in it. Apparently, it's really expensive, and uh, CBD is great for joint pain. And my hands hurt a lot because I type a lot. I got that from my older sister, Amy. And here's a chrysanthemum. Oh, this is, I was really stuck to open this gift on Christmas. Um, it's a flowering fortune. You grow good luck. And I thought there were like a little thing to read about this somewhere. Maybe I Googled it. I don't know. But it's, it's a uh, authentic Japanese made, um, I don't know, charm. Do I call this a charm? Maybe there's a paper with it that I lost. I forget how it works. You grow good luck. Oh, maybe I opened it. Yeah, I think I opened it. I think I opened it. Let's open it again, because I'm curious. Curious about how it works. There's a little piece of paper in here. And this little dude. Look at that. It's like a, a cat. Cat, lucky cat in there. I think I need some sound effects in here. Little piece of paper. Instructions. Paper fortune has seeds inside. Oh, there's a fortune in there. Uh, inside lucky charm is a fortune plus flower seeds. Flowering fortune. Grow good luck. Read it, plant it, water it, and your luck will grow. Charm and fortune made from eco-friendly materials. Yeah, I could tell it feels like a paper material. Water, uh, paper is biodegradable and dissolves into soil. So I plant the whole thing. Is that what I do? Sow the fortune and water. What's sow mean? Plant it? Oh, I think yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think it's supposed to be opened. I think there's a fortune inside. Do I open it now? Do I open it now? I'm gonna open it now. What's it say on the bottom? Uh, it's in Japanese. I cannot read the kanji i forget what that means but yeah i forget how to read that Ooh. <laughs> it doesn't smell like anything and i had to smell it like do you not have the urge to smell things i do i do it smells like nothing it smells like nothing at all oh look at that little Fortune wrapped in a little piece of a little piece of string. Is this one of the things that I'm not supposed to tell uh, what it is? Otherwise, the fortune is null and void. Well, I'm gonna read it anyway. Well, this has like a almost a sticky feel to it. I don't like that. Almost oh, it's stuck together. Medium good luck. Yes, flowering fortune. Grow good luck. Low, good if you, uh, wait, how do I, there's like a bunch, uh, there's two columns, low health, study, travel, social, money, wishes, work. Oh, it's like the fortunes for the different categories. So let's look at one fortune, because I don't want to uh, be here forever. My camera's going to time out again. Um, let's, let's look at money. <laughs> money, it can bring a good luck if you are generous with friends. Oh, okay, okay. So I need to just stay generous and then the money will come. Okay. Next gift. These are like, I, where did my sister get these? These are amazing. These are world gifts. I uh, like the little, the Japanese one and this one. This is a Guatemalan worry doll. Let me see if I can get a close up on that. Guatemalan worry doll. 
According to legend, when the Mayan people of Guatemala have worries, they confide them to the worry dolls and place them under their pillows for a peaceful night of sleep. By morning, the worry dolls will have taken their, their worries away. This handmade product was made by the Mayan people who live in the highlands of Guatemala. That's just the coolest gift right there. That's just the coolest gift. Uh, so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to keep this handy and I'm going to stuff my worries into this little bag. It's like a little bag, is it? Yeah, it's a little bag with a little character. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to stuff the little character into the bag. That sounds like something a, um, a kidnapper would say. I don't <laughs> Dark humor. Dark humor, people. Poorly delivered dark humor. Look at this thing. Uh, it's a it's a, a light, and we had these on Christmas Eve. They're lights that go in the bottom of these specially designed plastic cups, like drink cups, and it had a piece of Velcro on it, and it sticks to the cup, and it lights up your drink. But I yoinked the light, and I stole it without permission. I took it without permission, which is stealing. Yes, I stole this. I stole this. It's a really cool design. Like the, it's two cells, two battery cells, a contact, and an LED. And the way the LED is arranged, the contact just touches, like the switch. The switch is made. From, there's no way I can zoom in on this, but trust me, it's a cool, simple design with only three parts, four parts, three or four parts. Cool design. <laughs> I got these ankle cuff things. Let me check the time on this. I did not charge the battery. It's about to run out of battery, so I'm going to wrap this up. I got these cuffs. They're for uh, to hold my pant legs in place when I'm riding my bicycle so the pant legs don't get caught in the chain. I love that. And this, oh my god, 5'11 strike pant. I was so excited to receive these. I've, had, I've worn the same pants for like seven years in a row because I'm poor and uh, have other priorities other than, other than clothes. But uh, these pants are so cool, so cool pants. And I got this belt too, it's a 5'11 belt. And these things outlast leather. They're made out of nylon, I think, but they're very sturdy. I have two of them that I wear daily and they're great. They're just great belts. These are great pants. And I'm so stoked to have received these pants. This is shiny cling wrap, uh, what do you call this stuff? It was not a gift, but I accepted it as a gift. <laughs> I got some bubble gum. I got this pen, a little pen, mini pen. I got this Magic the Gathering booster pack, which I don't think was meant for me because I, did, I do not recall opening this on Christmas Day. This might have been for a different brother. If my other brother sees this, uh, let me know. I'm not going to open this. <laughs> and that's it. Thanks for watching. The camera has not shut off yet, so I'm just going to keep talking until it does. Um, yeah, look at this mess in here. It's a mess in here. And uh, went to the grocery store today. I rode with my mom. Because I, I go to the grocery store like several times a week normally when I could ride my bike, but it's during the winter, so it's hard to ride with all the snow and ice. So uh, it was nice to go with my mom because I could get a big cart and not a small cart because you usually have to carry the groceries in a backpack home. It's like a basket worth, but when I go with my mom, I can stock up and I got a bunch of cereal, some Tex-Mex trail mix. Well, I got to show this stuff. <laughs> Tex-Mex trail mix. This stuff is really good. Delicious. Delicious. I'm hooked on it. Um, cereal, Kashi Go Original. Oh, I gotta show this. I gotta show all the stuff. It's show and tell. Uh, Kashi Go Original. This has honey in it, but uh, I eat honey because I'm a Panera Bread vegan. Not a regular vegan that wouldn't eat honey, but Panera uh, vegan food at Panera Bread will contain honey and it's still considered vegan. It's a special Panera Bread. <laughs> I hope I'm not the only one laughing at how silly I am. Um, 
how silly I think I am. This was not a gift. This is, I don't even want to talk about this. It's, I'm so over the card selling business. Anyone, anyone want these cards? Uh, I'll make you a deal on a bulk box of 800 cards. Precious Memories trading card game. Uh, Lomo cards. What am I? I'm just gonna stand here. Do I look cool? Do I look cool? Is this good lighting? It's not good lighting, I know. Um, I'm hoping to take this camera outside soon and get some vlogs from the hiking hill or something like that. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This was kind of a, not a gift at all. This was a, a, a tabletop board game called, it's called Iron Sworn Starforged. It's like a standalone game by the same creators of Iron Sworn, which is like a tabletop RPG game that was successful. I ordered this from Kickstarter in, on May 20th, 2021, and I received it January 4th, 2023. So I've been waiting for this for a while, and I, I started reading this yesterday or the day before. Looks like a fun game. And I got the bundle. It, it, was, it was not just the, the book. This is a rule book. It also comes with a reference guide and an asset deck. And this was the bundle. You can get like just lesser uh, combinations. And there's also a digital version. The digital version is free. It's uh, licensed under Creative, Creative Commons. I forget which one, but one of the Creative Commons license licenses. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited to learn how to play this game. And uh, uh, I don't know where I'm going to play it or who I'm going to play with, but uh, yeah, I'm excited excited to try it out. I'm getting really excited. Just like that uh, camera is going to stop recording at any second now, and it's exciting or scary. It's been a while since I've recorded a video. Uh, I have like the nerves from being afraid, to, uh, being camera shy, and uh, haven't worked through the... It's going to take me a while to work through that. Usually it does. Uh, Usually it takes me some time to not be afraid to be in front of the camera. And I'm rambling at this point. What am I talking about? Mm, is this a ramble? I don't know. I think that's, that's a good stopping point. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.